Yeah. Well, fuck it. Are you coming by today? We got some coming by here today. That was me. On my Butterfinger and Dr. Pepper. Well, you need a stool to sit down on while you're eating that. Oh, no. That thing's cold. <laughs> All right. What type and size of 13 millimeter. Okay. Chrome, hopefully. 3 8 drive. 12 point. In the blue power or whatever it is. I have a full set. This one specific socket I need for a Jeep cylinder head bulb. And it's missing. I, I took it out and put it elsewhere and don't know where it is. Well, unfortunately, the only oh, thing no. I have in 12 point is the 3 8 drive here. The Impact. shower. I and have shower. those. I bought those. I know. That's what I bought to replace. You don't have the crummy crumbs? Well, not a 12 point. Uh, I thought you were giving me my lifesaver today. But you do have a lot of tools on here, so I guess we can look at that. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go home and organize it. All right. Gotta move stuff around and get all organized. I got the double box in, one ends ratchet, mm -hmm. metric. I've got the study opening box ins. All right. Mm -hmm. Those came in. I've got, uh, I don't know if you saw the. Uh, oh, I did. Pry bar last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got them. Um, what else do I got that's new? Not 13 millimeter, 12 point yeah, deep socket and 3 8 drive. Okay. <laughs> what? uh, What's your cousin's name again? I feel like we say hi to your cousin every time and I always forget his name. My cousin Jeff from Illinois. He's a veteran. Oh, uh, happy late Veterans yeah. Day. From one to another. Yeah, and of course, you know, I call him a redneck, but uh, it's lovingly calling him a redneck. Yeah, he's a good old country boy. Right. And, I'm sure uh, you don't thank mind. Thank you to all the vets out there. Well, thank you, Joe. We appreciate you. We appreciate you too. All right, yeah, I'm gonna give it. A, I do without you guys. I'm gonna give this truck a quick little perusa ruza and uh, I guess get off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's gotta be a hard item to sell, though. I've sold five of them. Have you? Man, it looks like it would be cold this time of year. Mm -hmm. Can't help that. Oh, there's a 12 point, way too big for what I'm looking for. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What to do here? Hmm. What to do? Ah, oh, look at these nice picks down here. Uh huh. Those do look nice. Let's see. Ooh, comfy handle. It's like feels all spongy and marshmallowy, kind of like the earplugs that you put in. I kind of like them. Comfortable. Mm hmm. It's in there. Yeah. Rails upon rails, blue power, green air hammer kits. <laughs> All right. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. It's Lloyd. Got to cover the logo up. He's the guy with the uh, Husky toolbox I was telling you guys about. Pretty sweet. Yeah, well, I'll walk through that one day. You should. Yeah. There's not a whole lot in there. It needs to be built up more. And that's why I'm here. Now, what but, you he's a diagnostic. That with a Cornwell. Uh, a Cornwell. I don't know. Uh, about uh, that. Uh, <laughs> well, that's why you coming on a Cornwell truck. Well, we came here for one socket, John. Okay, give us a blue. break. And they are blue. They are a Mopar blue, too. Can't argue with those points. <laughs> they got new ratchets in. Look at this. Here's a go. Quarter inch yep. cornholio. Those are nice. What kind of tooth are there? 72 uh, teeth. I like them. The new style of comfort grip. Look at that. Here, put one in your hand, Lloyd. Check it out. You do like blue. Oh, I do like that, actually. It's pretty nice, huh? There you go. It locks pretty well, too. What's the price tag on that hot rod? 124.60. Ooh. Worth it. Maybe? That feels pretty good, actually. I like that. 72 teeth? Yeah, so All right. Well, I flipped you enough shit about not having the socket I want, but I will take your master ball joint press oh, kit. How about that? I just got the parts that I wore to you last week out of this back last night. So I had to uh, that. Nice. Score yeah. for us. And not bad for 152 Is that how much it said it was? That's what's on the sticker. Could be cheaper. Could be promo. Let's uh, ring her up and see what she says. Cheap.
cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. <laughs> it's for Justin Dow, double price. That's right. One hundred dollars. Well, this says it's one sixty-four. Was there a tag on this that said one fifty-nine? Or do you know? Okay. One fifty-two fifty. And that's what you're getting it for. Hell yeah. Thanks, John. All right, I'm getting ready to take off. It's the end of the day, and it's Friday, baby, TGIF. But I wanted to at least open the box and show you guys the ball joint remover and installer set that I picked up from Cornwell. I think I got it for a pretty good deal because considering this kit's usually 100 bucks either way when you buy it from OTC, I don't know that that's who actually makes this for Cornwell anymore because this one's not written on there. They don't have an OTC stamp on it. So maybe it's a different company. I don't know. But overall, I think it looks like a pretty sweet kit. Just wanted to show you guys because it's staying here at the dealer because I do a lot of ball joints, believe it or not. All right, so here it is. Nothing too spectacular, right? You get three different size cups. You get the clamp. You get the dealio. You get the other little cups. I'm assuming that there was a piece maybe right in here at one point. Or maybe you buy a piece to put in here or this is a spot for other cups. I don't know but I don't see them in here. I don't know that that's gonna be a big deal. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Rock and roll. So that's it, guys. So, time to wrap it up. Put this back on the box, and we gotta get out of here. Plus, I get my daughter tonight, which is exciting. I miss my little princess. Hopefully I'll get to see her soon. Maybe we'll have her say hi. Swing shift. We're back. I'm not gonna do too, too much tonight. We are gonna at least start in on it. Uh, my plan for this evening, because I'm getting my daughter, was literally to zap the head bolts down, maybe torque them, or I can come back and torque them in the morning. But I borrowed a socket from a buddy of mine from the dealership. It's a snap-on 13 millimeter, 12.38 drive, because John didn't have one. Lucky for us, Angel did, and so he loaned it to us. So we're gonna go ahead and do what we gotta do and then get out of here and go get our little princess because it's daddy daughter weekend baby all these bolts yeah okay so 12 point very important here right for our cylinder head we got a couple different lengths we got a couple that were extra studs right uh what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna start dropping them into place we're gonna hand we're gonna do them by hand at first just to kind of get a couple threads then we're gonna zip zap them down with the gun Huh. See that? We're running short here. It's because I have the other bolt still attached to the socket. Let me stick that back in there. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. I gotta slide the head forward. I forgot. That bolt has to be in first. Uh, it's been a minute since I've been doing this jeep thing. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. We can adjust. We can adjust. Just gonna slide this forward a little bit to the side. Let's see if I can sneak it in here. Yeah. Yeah. 
maybe. Did I? Yeah. I think we did. That. Uh. Pretty good all the way around. All right, so yeah, that one rear one, because of how the firewall's set up, it's got this lip. So you gotta at least get that bolt in. You saw how I adjusted it little bit by little bit until we got it in. It's not gonna hurt the gasket, trust me. I've done enough of these over the years. It's gonna be just fine. All right, drop all of our head bolts in now. If I remember correctly, I do believe these ones with the prong, and I might go back through my old video, but I believe those go front and rear. Mm -hmm. And then I believe all these go just like this. So, all right. We have one through 10 and 12 and 14 at 110 foot pounds and 11 at 100 foot pounds. And 11 is this front one here. So I'm gonna go back through my old content, which I always encourage you guys to do as well, to look for this video where I did a inline six cylinder head removal before. It's been a couple years back probably. Uh, but I just want to verify that these ones, in fact, go on either end and not in the middle. That's important to me because when I go to put rockers and things like that on there, I want to make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be, right? It's kind of like that measure twice, cut once. That's kind of like what we're doing here with this. So I was going to run these on down and torque them, but I do have to get my daughter. I do not want to be late because daycare costs money if you're late and I don't want my princess waiting for me because I'm over here goofing off with this Jeep. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up on out of here and I'm gonna go get my little princess. That's what I'm doing. For the prize, I'm not gonna give it today because I just got something from the prize. Let me see. It's this bracelet. I gave the pink one to Solana oh. and I had the white one, which is this good. The pink is this good and the white is this good. Wow, that's really pretty, little Mimi's. Yeah, and I'm going to wear it tomorrow with a pretty dress. Okay. But maybe on Monday because I think my pretty dress is actually. Okay, well, we'll see. And I was wearing my unicorn thing, but um, I gave it to um, Aubrey. And... Wait, hold on. Losing track of all your friends because you have so many, huh? Yeah. It was Emma, not Aubrey. Emma's in Mrs. B's class. Okay. Well, why don't we go home? We're gonna have some dinner. Okay, we're gonna fire up maybe the barbecue or maybe. And then tomorrow you get to go on an adventure with Daddy. We're gonna go to the shop Yay. and we're gonna install this cylinder head on this inline six together. Okay, would that be fun? Oh yeah, it'll be fun. Will it be fun? I think it'll be really, really fun. Uh huh. But I think we might go to Harbor Freight real quick because I want to take a look at these little service carts for work, and maybe we'll see if they have like a little stool there as well because you'll need to stand on some kind of stool so you can be as tall as I am when working on the Jeep. So I think we'll go to Harbor Freight real quick before we get home. Okay. Okay. All right. To the Harbor of Freightesses. All right, so we got this all black one for 75 bucks. That's fairly inexpensive. Looks like a Rubbermaid hand cart, maybe yep, 135 for that one. That's pretty nice. I kind of dig that too, that for 135 bucks. That's nice. Okay. Uh, there's one more thing we needed to check. What did I want to check? Um, I think you said. Oh, you said stool, stool. We yeah. need a step stool for you. Let's go look. Cool. 